What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kyle McGuire. Just wanted to reach out, make a video. I ain't made one in about a week from Garner, North Carolina. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I bring to you all things exterior cleaning. We talk business, hustle, muscle, day-to-day -day grind, nuts and bolts, uh, how-to videos. We do it all. So go ahead, hit that subscriber and help a brother out. Just a small channel trying to grow. So here we are, y'all. The sun's just coming out. Uh, it was raining a little while while ago, which is good because I knocked out a, a small roof job this morning. I actually did just the street facing part of the roof, the north side of the house. It had a lot of that organic growth, that black streaks coming through the shingles. So we took care of that uh, Glio Caps and Magma, got them people straight. So this uh, Mother Nature doing its thing is definitely going to be a, a benefit to that. And uh, after, after I did that roof job this morning... Um, went out did some estimates so if you follow my channel you know i got a full-time gig and uh, a lot of the times when i go out and do estimates or whenever i do estimates um unfortunately it's just over the phone you know i'll get their information on the phone i'll find out that key information you know square footage is a vinyl hardy plank uh the you know different things and i and i cross-reference it against a couple different websites to get my uh to double check make sure the square footage is on point uh, try to get some good pictures of it on these realtor sites. I'll even pull it up on Google Earth, and I'll, I'll shoot a, a, a as accurate of an estimate as I could give them. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're gonna get burnt. You know, sometimes that's gonna happen. But a lot of times, if you if you if you've been doing a lot of houses that way, uh, you pretty much know what you're gonna charge just by looking at one or two pictures. So uh, today had the benefit of going out and doing some estimates in person, which is huge because. Uh, it goes with two things I want to talk about today, and that is customer retention and educating the customer. All right, now these two things go hand in hand, and it's very important for your business for a lot of reasons. So let's dive into it. Educating the customer. Now, it's a lot easier to do this whenever you're doing an estimate in person. And educating the customer is in regards to talking about your processes, right? I had went out. This was a while back. I had seen a house... I was doing an estimate in person, and the siding was loose in two spots on the house. And the woman said that the pressure washers had done it last year. So I was like a little taken back by this. So I'm like, not only did they they were using pressure, you know, who? Uh, luckily for her, there was no uh, degradation to the siding. There was no oxidation or nothing. So they did a good job rinsing. But <laughs> lucky for her, with them using pressure on the house, they didn't put like Zorro marks through the house or do anything far worse than just that one or two pieces of vinyl. I thought it was, but it's, it's pathetic, y'all, that that stuff happens, you know. If you know anything about vinyl, it's super easy to snap back into place. So anyway, uh, did that estimate, snapped that vinyl back into place with her. But I built that value by educating her on my processes, letting her know that nine times out of ten, I don't even use ladders. I'm doing, on a two-story house like hers, uh, I'm, I'm shooting from the ground, y'all. I'm, I'm spraying my uh, proprietary algicide from the ground at low pressure right it's gonna take it's gonna kill all that organic growth i'm gonna come back at low pressure and do my rinsing all this at a very very low uh risk of damaging a property you know and, and then i'll kind of go into depth about like a little bit of horror stories you know she already knows what what high pressure can do but i'll go into more depth and talk about the different things that high pressure can do damaging wood damaging siding uh if you already have bad paint how it could rip paint up so there's there's a multitude of things that could go wrong so i like to educate the customer and whenever you do this you're building value but more importantly you're building trust so that's the key thing whenever you educate them you're building trust and it goes hand in hand with customer retention so i really like doing those estimates in person that way i could uh build some value talk myself up talk my company and my processes up but uh it's 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 for that one goal of retaining these customers once you, once i win them over right with the estimate uh i want to do the work i want to do a good job and i want to retain these customers it's been a a big goal of mine ever since i i got off the ground and i urge you to uh, implement this if you're not already doing it whenever you're doing jobs especially if they're these really high ticket ones they're, they're the type of people you know are going to uh, regularly maintain their property at a, at a consistent basis, you know, once or twice a year. Get these people on the schedule for the next year. I already have over 10 grand on the books for next year, and that's no bullshit. I'm being 100% transparent with you. There's been a few jobs where I don't even ask people to get on schedule, whether, you know, maybe I, maybe I underbid a job, right? Um, 
or maybe the people were just a pain in the ass or it, it was a real low paying job. Some of those jobs, I really don't make the extra effort to get them on the schedule for the next year. But those big jobs, those six, seven, eight hundred dollar jobs, I'm putting them on a schedule every time the next year. My goal is to retain those customers. You know, you, you hear so many times on a uh, Facebook on all these Facebook pages and on different people's, I, I follow a lot of YouTubers that are do the same type of content I do. Uh, a lot of them have been doing it for a lot longer, so I enjoy watching their videos. And uh, something you always see if they're on a live stream, right? You always see people ask, how do you get leads? How do you get leads? How do you get leads? What's the best way of getting leads? How much money are you spending to get leads? That's all fine and well, guys. But what I think is more important is how do you keep those leads? How do you retain those leads? Whenever you win them over, how do you keep them as a long-term customer? That's what I'm doing. So what, what I'll always do is after I've built that value, I've built that trust, and finally I've executed and went out and done a good job at their house, I'll do something that's called save the date, right? And I don't know my personal life a year from now, but what I'll do is I'll tell them, hey, I'm going to put you on the schedule. I can't guarantee it will be this exact day next year. But it's going to be plus or minus a few days. I'll have you on the schedule, and I'm going to put you in my software, put you in my process. I'll generate some text messages and send them out to you next year as a reminder well ahead of time. You know, and, and worst case, you change your mind, you could always cancel. It's no, it's, There's not going to be any bad thing happening to you. I'm not going to charge you. But uh, you get them on the schedule. And, uh, and whenever you do that, whenever you've done all these steps, People can respect that because they see that you take pride in what you do and you value your craft. You know, you take it seriously. Um, if you come out, if you just, if they Craigslisted you, right, $100 pressure washer, you come out there and blast away at their house, you know what I'm saying? You red tip that mofo up and then you just pack up your truck once you get that check and you roll off. They ain't ever going to think about you again. They ain't going to have no way of retaining your info. They ain't going to think twice. You're just a dime a dozen washer. That's what I like to call you're a dime a dozen washer because there's a dime a dozen of them out there. You got to set yourself apart. And I feel like I'm doing that. Granted, there's some great companies right around my area. There's some, I've had the, the pleasure of talking to several of them. Some guys run some really good companies around here. They're all doing the right thing. I'm pretty sure they do the same thing I'm doing. They get these people, they win them over, they get them on the schedule for next year. So if you ain't already doing that, make the effort, uh, Try to retain those customers. It's crucial. I can't tell you how good of a feeling it's going to be next year whenever you're not worrying about, man, how, how am I going to get work? I, I'm slow, y'all. I ain't got no jobs coming in. Well, if you would have done things right a year ago, you would have had these people freaking calling you, yo. Or like you, you, they would already be on the schedule. You would already have that money to look forward to. Granted, they could always cancel, but nine times out of ten, you're going to get those people and, and, you're, and you're going to win them over if you do everything right. So, uh, some final words before I get up off of here. Uh, you could still build value. You could still educate your customers without being in person. So don't get me wrong. You, you could do this over the phone too, y'all. I'm part-time. I got a full-time gig. But I do a, I do a lot of estimates, y'all. I'm, feel, I'm feeling so fortunate and blessed that I'm having the volume of calls that I'm getting. And it's crazy. I haven't... I haven't... I put out a couple yard signs this week and and one or two Facebook posts, I pretty much took my foot off the gas on a lot of other marketing that I've been doing because just the time of year, like I'm getting a, a big influx of calls lately and I'm feeling super good about it. I can't get to all these calls and do estimates in person. So I'm doing them over the phone, but I build value. I always welcome to, prime example, a, a girl hit me up the other day on Facebook Messenger because she saw one of my ads. She's like, hey, blah, 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 blah. I'm interested in getting an estimate for this size house. I'm like, okay, great. Please send me your address. I'll pull it up. I'll get your estimate right over. I'm already trying to upsell stuff, right? I'm looking at the driveway, looking at other stuff, putting all those things in my estimate. Cause if you ask me for a house wash estimate, that's going to be itemized in my estimate, but I'm also going to put gutter cleaning on there, gutter brightening. I'm going to put driveway. All right. I'm, I'm going to put all these different things in there that I can just to boost that average ticket price. Um, but what I did was I always welcome people to check out my website. So I'll say, hey, hey, y'all, uh, just sent you. The, I'll shoot my estimate and I'll be like, I welcome you to check out my website. You can read about my processes. My, I got a nice website. It's all spelled out what I do, how I'm different, what things we're doing right. Check my website out. Check out my before and after pictures because they're on point. And check out my reviews, y'all. I mean, I'm five star rated on Google. All right. And I'm insured. So you're building all this value. And that, and that, 
and when they're doing that right and they're getting estimate you can, i guarantee you they're shopping around they're getting as they're getting several estimates because nine times out of ten people are cheap but what you've done is set yourself apart she might uh she might have found very well found cheaper people than me but being that i put that information out there i drove her to my website she looked at it all she ended up going with me and i had a freaking 400 hundred dollar ticket so blessed you know what i'm saying so uh that's that y'all i'm in the shop right now uh covid19 has still got me working from home like I, it's crazy uh got a full-time job but nine times out of ten i mean i'm supposed to work monday through thursday i ain't even been going to work y'all at my main job because it's coronavirus uh they've had us I'm, I'm a maintenance tech so whenever stuff breaks they call me nine times out of ten it's in the middle of the night which is good because i've been washing my ass off for the past two months i feel like i'm a full-time washer i've been out here getting after it feels good but uh so i got a real busy week i'm already booked out this whole week and uh just having a good day y'all uh did 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 that roof job did some estimates and uh north carolina has opened up restaurants at limited capacity so i was driving down a uh, wake forest road and it was like a beacon of light y'all a beacon of light calling to me hooters and your boy been pulled up in there sat at the bar had a cold beer you know good good drink cold drinks good food good scenery so now i'm just chilling i'm about to get the truck ready um yeah blessed i'll get with y'all peace